Good morning. I'm Jennifer with Love It Again Furnishings. I just had to clean a whole bunch of brushes, so I thought I would come on here real quick and share some brush storage tips. Uh, we have, for those of us who paint often, we know brushes can be an investment, so you want them to last as long as you can. So there's three different ways. I'm going to share three different ways that I have seen or heard of storage options. And then I will share with you what I feel like is the best option. Um, first, and I see this often, is clean your brushes and then store them in a container or a jar of some sort. All stood up like this. This is not your best option. And we'll come back to this and it'll make more sense later. Another option is simply laying them maybe in a tray or a drawer after these are still damp. Uh, laying them flat, which is okay. In my opinion, the best option is actually how you see I have them here on my wall is hanging them. Uh, you will see water still dripping out of here. So by hanging your brushes, it actually helps gravity to pull any leftover paint or water that's in them. So now if we go back to option one where you stand them face up, Gravity, again, is going to make them go back towards this ferrule, which then can cause buildup over time. And that's where you have those brushes that are stiff here, and only the top bristles still move. It's because paint and um, water paint residue has continued to dry repeatedly in the bottoms. So storing them flat is okay, but again, uh, up and down like this is really your best option. One other little tip uh, I wanted to share is for those brushes with bad hair days. This is just a, an expensive brush I got on Amazon. <laughs> and it just it's just bad. It's helpful for getting into small places, or it was helpful until this happened. So what I do is I keep a rubber band on these crazy hair handles. And after I've washed them, I simply slide the rubber band up the bristles to help give it some shape. So now when I hang it to dry, it'll have, it'll dry with its shape again. So, I got these hangers surprisingly at my local Dollar Tree. So I was pretty excited about that. Um, my stencil brushes are another example of ones where the ends get a little crazy, so, and these do not have holes in them, like these do, which implies that you hang them. I'll still use a little rubber band to kind of keep them. And then these I will try to put in a little cup or something just so they stay f vertical till they dry, and then I store them in a drawer. So I hope those were helpful for you and you can take care of your investment and keep your brushes beautiful and easy to work with for years to come. Make sure you check us out on Facebook and Instagram too at Love It Again Furnishings.